Welcome to the artwork of CP, everyone. Now, I know that I thought, okay, we're not going to talk about what's going on, but it has come to my attention that I, because I'm getting diagnosed with something else, which I'm 99% positive I have due to my family history of having this certain disease, which I will be um, happy that, well, not happy with diagnosis, happy with um, getting the final diagnosis after 33 years of potentially dealing with it. But because of getting diagnosed with another disease, which I'm 99% positive, I have asthma, um, a very um, moderate version of asthma, not severely asthmatic like my mom was, but um, I'm 99% positive I have asthma, but in order for me to go see a lung specialist, which I'm working on right now, a pulmonologist, which, funny enough, my dad almost killed this pulmonologist that I'm about to go see. And they said to me, my doctor goes, well, have you been tested for what's going on? And I said, no, I've been home for five months. I, I don't um, want, I have been home for five months. I'm 99% sure I don't have what's going on in the world right now. And I'm like, okay. And she goes, well, the pulmonologist <laughs> may need proof that you don't have it. So, <laughs> basically, on Monday, I have to go get the stick stuck up my nose and do the COVID testing. There, I said it. So basically, on Monday, I have to do a yes, and my stepmom knows, and she's like, it's better to be safe than sorry. She's like, if you do have it, you're doing a good job at quarantine for 14 days. I'm like, yeah, but I don't, I don't want to have it. I'm, the only reason why I'm going to get it, you guys, is, and I'll um, share the results with everyone that cares about me and <laughs> um the only reason why i'm going to get it you guys is just so i can prove to this pulmonologist that i am going to see that i don't have covid i haven't been exposed to covid i yeah the only that's the only reason why i'm going to get it and yeah that's there's nothing I can do about it. I mean, if I, the last time I went to the doctor, I have been following every doctoral procedure in the book. They sent me to get a chest x-ray. Well, it turns out the chest x-ray was perfectly fine. And so to get to the bottom of me getting diagnosed with asthma, which I'm 99% Sure, I'm having, and I I need to apologize to you guys. I keep saying I over the years of asked when and over the years of the artwork of CP and even over the years of um uh even over the years of the amazing the voices of teachers. I apologize for the coughing attack. I apologize for the coughing attack. Me thinking that stupid lack of movement cough. Me thinking that it was a um, 
lack of movement cough. Well, I, since I've been on asthma medication, and I feel better. And so now I'm thinking, well, they misdiagnosed me. They, they at Children's Hospital misdiagnosed me um, with a lack of a movement cough because my mom would tell them I finally went to, I finally got dragged along to a asthma specialist in Denver, Colorado and, um, and they, they gave, they thought I had asthma at one point and now I'm thinking, well, it's not a lack of movement cough. It is more, um, asthmatic end of it because, um, yes. And I've had a crazy week because my stepsister was there and what this has to do with asthma. Um, I've had a crazy week because Cat was also Cat was also here, and I my doctor asked me. My doctor said, "Well, how do you feel around the cat?" And I said, "Well, I feel a little bit worse around the cat, obviously because a cat, and uh, when you have asthma, a cat and your lungs don't get along." So I, I know this because my aunt, my aunt had a cat and that cat lived for 18 years. And every single time that cat would, uh, that cat would get up in a chair at my grandmother's house and my, the cat must have known my mom was asthmatic and so every time my mom would try and go sit down in that certain chair her, her eyes would itch all the signs of being asthmatic and yes my grandfather her um, dad died of asthma in the 60s and so when I say that to people they um they say, wow, you really do have a, as a history of asthma. And I'm like, I've been telling you guys that for years. I've been telling doctors that for years. My mother stood behind me and said, look, I have asthma. It's genetic. Hello? <laughs> Get a clue here? <laughs> yeah. So, um, so... I am 99% sure I have asthma, and I'm waiting for a um, before order to get a lung functionality test. And yes, the, um, I'm going to see a pulmonologist, but my first step is to go get the lung lovely stick stuck up my nose to make sure that I don't have COVID. Um, and I'm, and the doctor, the doctor is, she goes, well, have you been exposed to COVID? And I'm like, no, I've been home for five months. And I, I even said to her, my sister got COVID. But at that time, um, my stepsister stayed away from me. She knows better not to come up with um with me and her mom i uh, um was called but geez she knows better than that and so um and so i said well my sister's got covered but she's completely over it and so and so i just decided if it is covid and i have to quarantine for 14 days i'll just deal I'll just deal, but I'm I'm ninety nine percent sure it's asthma because I feel better on 
the asthma medication that I've felt in years. And so, and, and even though, even though I'm trying to get this order filled, and even though I'm trying to get this referral, I am like, okay, if they want me to get a COVID test, I will put the baby stick up and get the stick up my own. And I will just deal and take it to the technologist with me just to prove that I don't have COVID. And if I do, I um, call asymptomatic, meaning I don't have, meaning I don't have the symptoms of COVID. I don't feel the symptoms. I mean, I um, I honestly don't think I do. And if I do, I'll just deal and just um, deal with it for 14 days and be cooped up at home for 14 days. And then I will um, just deal the best I can with COVID. And, but I don't, I don't think I have COVID. I'm just doing the COVID test as a precautionary measure. And I, as I told you guys this at the beginning of COVID way back in March, I said, if I need to go get tested, I need to go get tested. But I did, I know, I never thought that now Glenn and I'm at high risk for COVID, so it's Danielle. But I never thought that going to a pulmonologist, you would need to go get tested for COVID. And the my doctor was so shocked when I said, um, if you want to test me, test me. And my doctor was like, okay. You'll be a good patient about it. I said, well, I had a doctor run away on me, and I had a doctor um, give me antibiotics and not listen to me for um, what they saw of the lack of movement cough. The reason why I'm being so good with this doctor is because they actually listen to me, and they actually say, honey, it's... N- now we're not dealing with antibiotics to cure an infection. We're dealing with something deeper like asthma. And so in order and a pulmonologist would want to see a COVID test, just make sure that you don't have COVID. And I'm like, fine, test me, fine. I I almost did it, but in the office, um, they went to test my lungs, but, um, so, here I go, get the stick stuck up my nose, and I've already asked my doctor, I said, is this a stick test, a saliva test, because my, um, mother, my stepmother also got a COVID test for me, because she's been exposed to the public, and hers was a saliva, and they go, I'm sorry, when, this is a stick test up your nose and I'm like, okay, here we go. Here we go. And I'm not gonna be baby about it. And I'm just the fun adventures of getting diagnosed with asthma when you have to see people. <laughs> and so yeah. That's the update on me. And if I have a if I have a COVID, I'll just um be nice calm for fourteen days and be um I'll just deal and the show is gonna go on and then you then I can um then you guys can interview me about my experience <laughs> with COVID about with COVID and terrible palsy and but I don't I I don't have COVID I mean I've been home for five months but um. A lot of people around me do um, on our knee and do go out, and so we'll see what happens. 
but I, um, as a, and yes, I have been wheezing, and I don't think um, wheezing is a sign of COVID. We kept, and I have been having trouble catching my breath since, um, since I got home from Orlando, but um, back in March, but I don't think it has anything to do with COVID. As I said, I think it's more asthmatic aspects because um, on the asthma medication, I feel better. And so, um, but if I need to go prove to a pulmonologist, I do not have COVID. I'm going to prove to this pulmonologist I don't have COVID and I, and I won't kill him. I will be <laughs> the best friend of this pulmonologist because I won't be like my dad. Um, my dad tried to kill this pulmonologist because he, um, and the pulmonologist, he's like, I don't want to see that the last time because the last time I got yelled at by the patient. And so I'm, I'm going to, um, even though the pulmonologist is really really nice and i'm i'm gonna say just because i share the same the last day it doesn't mean doesn't mean i'm going to necessarily not listen to you about asthma and it's just because i have a family history of asthma and so so this ought to be i just ventured dealing with the same pulmonologist that my dad dealt with I uh I'm glad I haven't got the repo yet, but the next step is COVID land. And so we'll see if it's um as I said, I'm ninety nine percent sure it's asthma. But um if it's COVID, we'll we'll just you know um Alexa stop. And so if it's COVID, we'll just deal and I'll be quarantined for fourteen days. And so it's it's going to be an interesting little adventure on Monday to get the stick stuck up my nose. But then, but knowing me, it's asthma. And, and then you could, um, you guys can always interview me about getting the stick stuck up my nose. And so, um, but if it's COVID, it's COVID and I'll deal. So I'm not going to be a baby about it. I'm not going to be a baby about it. I'm not going to punch a nurse. I'm not going to punch Danny. You know, I'm not, I'm just going to be sick. And uh, if, it's, um, if it's COVID, it's COVID. But if it's asthma, I, I would much better deal with asthma than COVID. But, um, <laughs> but, if it's um, COVID, I'll deal for 14 days. I mean, there's nothing I can do. My work is on the internet. And if I um, if I get really sick with COVID, I can make a few phone calls. I can um, tell, I can tell you guys that, look, it's, what um what it is and you guys will support me like you always have so um so basically monday's gonna be an interesting adventure but here we go and this is the next step on getting diagnosed with asthma and so yep and so that's the update on me and the chest x-rays came back perfectly fine. It's not walking pneumonia, we know that. And so um it may be asymptomatic COVID or it may I'm ninety nine percent asthma. But you can um interview me about asthma too. Being diagnosed with asthma late in your thirties and I can deal with asthma. My um, my step grandma also has asthma, and so um, my mom has also been raised by my stepmom has also been 
raised by an asthmatic. No, I know my asthma backwards, forwards. I just don't know my COVID backwards and forwards. All I've seen about it is on the news. So I, I know my asthma backwards and forwards more than I know my COVID backwards and forwards. But we'll just deal. We'll just deal. And if it's, um, as I said, if it's COVID, it's COVID. And then if it's asthma, well, um, I am 99% sure it's asthma. And let's leave it at that. And so Monday is going to be an uh, interesting adventure. So you guys um, get to Monday morning and we're doing thoughts with CP and I'll explain this to the thoughts with CP cloud as well. So here we go on my interesting adventure with a stick up my nose, luckily. And so, and I trust my, the doctor who's going to do it, and it's going to be interesting, but this is something I have to do to prove to a pulmonologist that I do not have COVID. I do not have COVID, and if I do, I'll just still, I'll just still. I'm lucky enough that, um, what I'm lucky enough. That my fan base understands CP, and I'm lucky enough that I don't have to um, necessarily explain to my boss now that I have COVID. And even even if I had to explain to my boss I had COVID, um, my um, boss would be completely understanding because they want to keep me safe. Everyone everyone who wants to keep me safe and believe it or not, I um believe it or not, you guys seem to love stable palsy and the adventures of stable palsy. So um if it's COVID, it's COVID and cerebral palsy, but I'm ninety nine percent sure it's asthma and cerebral palsy and um and so that's that and i'll leave it with danielle danielle do you want to say anything else yeah danielle mason emails on my behalf um if it is covered danielle may move everyone and so I'm going to take it easy if it is COVID, but I'm 99% sure it's asthma. But again, the universe is slowing me down as I get diagnosed with whatever I have. And if it's COVID, I said I would deal and I plan to deal. So, but if it's, um, if it's asthma, which I think it is, Asthma is a much better case than so. Hopefully, um, hopefully I'm blessed with asthma instead of the other end. <laughs> hopefully I'm blessed with asthma. But while on this wild adventure to get a diagnosis of asthma after thirty three years of being. <laughs> misdiagnosed with a lack of moving cough and not listening to my mom and not listening to me. And so I am ready to do this. And so we'll, um, we'll catch you guys on, well, we'll catch thoughts with CP on Monday morning, right before I go in and then We'll probably do a, um, depending on whether it's a rapid results test or whatever it is, um, I will probably do a, um, episode on thoughts with CP. I'll probably say what, what I have the moment I get the results back because 
you guys now want to know. And so, yeah, but if, if, as I said, if it is COVID, I'll just deal. If it's asthma, I'm going to be happy as quim. So either way, I'm going to be dealing with something. And it's definitely not a lack of movement cough because even when I was working out, I still had this severe cough. So, yeah. So we'll see. We'll see what it is. And I'm going to let you guys go. You guys have a wonderful Sunday. And be brave. Be strong. Be safe, you guys. Bye, you guys. Bye.